Greetings, unsettled souls. As Sam I beat again, you doing political commentary for the media speaks. You might know me from Blasting News, although you know I, I say that, but it's funny. A lot of people probably may not know me from Blasting News now, since COVID nineteen has come along and uh, ruined so much of it. I, I was supposed to be. Uh, I, press passes for the Judas Priest tour uh, that was to take place in a week or two. I had the tickets, in, a funny story here, I had the tickets in January and I called my friend Tom who I was taking and I said, you think you can get it off in time? It's September and we laughed and right around June or July we had a discussion, well maybe I shouldn't make jokes like that anymore and needless to say it was cancelled. Um, all right, I'm giving you all time to stream in there. I've babbled for 30 seconds. I do want to ask you to do me a favor. Two things. First and foremost, please hit share. Right now. Right now, while you're getting ready for the show to begin, please hit share. That gets us around shadow banning. That gets us around so many different things that prevent us from being heard. You're not going to get the truth in a lot of different places. I spend time to put that together. And uh, one of the ways you can show me that you appreciate the show is simply by hitting the share button. Another way is to, if you'd like to donate, like the awesome Miss Kebby did. Thank you, Kebby. Uh, she donated to the show. And uh, there's expenses incurred uh, mailing out the dunce cap, of which uh, you're going to see the dunce cap here in a moment. Um, what I'm going to, it's the first, first of its ever of its kind. Uh, what I'm going to do here is um, give you some context into the first story that I'm getting into here. Uh, because there used to be so many of the characters on the show back in the day. Uh, shout out to a certain person whose birthday is today. Yeah, it was part of the show. Happy birthday. Anyway, News 24, The Daily Star, Hamilton, Ohio hired morgue worker cremated by mistake while taking a nap. Now, I I remember when I, I don't do the characters anymore, it's just it's hard to do by yourself and it's not as much fun, I think to listen to or to be a part of without the interplay that had existed there at the time. But I'm pretty sure that my character, Ard Mortis, when he was still with us, um, covered a story a couple of years ago where something like this happened. Is this a common thing? Do people routinely fall asleep and get burned? You know, not routinely, maybe just a handful every decade. Does, does this, is this a thing? Listen, an employee of a Hamilton, Ohio funeral home and a cremation service died yesterday after being accidentally cremated by one of his co-workers. According to the police, 48-year-old Michael Jones decided to take a nap on a stretcher after working for 16 hours straight. While he was sleeping, another employee mistook him for a corpse of a 52-year-old person who died from a heart attack and moved him into the crematory. It goes on that before anyone could notice the mistake, he had already been exposed to temperatures ranging between 1400 and 1800 degrees Fahrenheit and reduced to ashes. Uh, Jenna Anderson and Mr. Jones' co-workers says she heard him scream for about 15 seconds after the crematory was activated. That's why I didn't give them the Dunce Cap of the Month award. Uh, if they'd have caught it, I would have, but we're, we're not going to we're not going to go quite that dark. That's kind of mean, but they definitely made the cut. At first, we didn't understand where the sound was coming from when we realized what was happening. It was too late. We shut down the heating system, but it was all, but he was already dead. Mr. Anderson claims that the younger co-worker who caused the accident was a new employee. And I think that had happened before, and he forgot to check the toe tag to make sure that he had the right body. He could be accused of criminal, criminal negligence, you think? Oh my God, friends! All right, that's the reason I led with that is we're gonna have stories similar to that if I remember this October. I'm gonna try to do that for sure. Uh, friends, I want to give a shout out to Mark Dice because some of these stories had come by way of him, 
And these all get honorable mention before we go on to what is, of course, the, the, what you're waiting for, and that is the winner of the dunce cap. One of them here is, it's from the Milwaukee Journal. Uh, Wisconsin DNR, they want people to mask up during Zoom calls. At home! What the? I'm not one of these people that you know, don't understand the mask thing. If I'm in and out of a place that involves me not potentially spreading the virus around, then it's fine. At home, in a Zoom call. What, you're going to send the virus? That's not how viruses work on the internet. You see that commercial where she's like, the old granny has the wall and she's like, I'm going to put this on my wall and unfriend you. And the other lady goes, that's not how this works. It's not how any of this works. That's You're listening to the Dunce Cap of the Month Award Show, and I know you expect the stupidest of the stupid. They want you to wear a mask on a Zoom call, on an internet phone call. You know, I've said it since the beginning. I'm a firm believer in COVID and everything, but I'll tell you what, it is being used and manipulated against the average person. It goes back to the democratic battle cry, never let a good disaster go to waste. Another honorable mention, this almost one, San Diego City Council member Jen Campbell wants to arrest people who are not wearing a mask on the beach on the beach San Diego heat kills the virus now you may want to practice a bit of social distancing because there could be some risk in spittle but there is no reason to wear a mask when you're outside I see these idiots when I'm driving around and they're wearing a mask while they're mowing their lawn. I saw people wearing a mask watching a Little League baseball game the other day while I was sitting in a parking lot. They're wearing a mask in their car watching a game. Jen Campbell, well, I, again, I, I give you this information so that you can contact these people, so that you, when you, or maybe when you vote, you can remember who these people are. Because if this level of stupidity continues, so help me God, there isn't going to be anything left of anyone. ABC News. Now, not since Christelle and I talked about the importance of, that Nancy Pelosi said of not crying wolf in a crowded theater. What? No, no, no stay with me. That, that, that's what she said. It's very important that we do not cry wolf in a crowded theater. Right? If you haven't seen it, go to my channel, youtube.com slash the correct views. Go to my channel and type in, uh, search Nancy Pelosi wolf. It was part of a show that we were doing called Melatonin Monday is one of the funniest things we've ever done. And it's all true. It wasn't just, you know, ho, ho, ha, ha. Not since that have I ever been so confused. What did she mean? Did she mean don't cry wolf and don't when and but don't holler fire in a crowded theater? And we, we assumed that she conflated the two in her head. Okay, ABC News, according to their headline, says that Black Lives Matter protesters may not be spreading the virus because they're staying home. So the people that are going out is what, the Dunce Cap of the Month award. Now stay with me. We're, we're, we're narrowing in here. The It's so stupid it hurts to say. The people who are leaving their house to protest are not spreading the virus because they're staying home when they go out of their home to protest. Yes? 
I have decided after a strong thought as to what the hell they could mean that they probably mean they're staying home afterwards. For one thing, I know that's not true because I know a number of people who have gone. I, I personally have covered uh, the protests in Cleveland, Akron, and Canton. I had a flashbang shot at me while I was covering it in Canton. And this, the Wall Street Journal had a picture of me. I was shadowing Ryan Stahl, who I agree with often, disagree with often, and support fully. He was awesome. And I was following him to make sure that nobody could say or do that he did something, incited something, whatever. And my picture ended up being in the Wall Street Journal, uh, not the Wall Street Journal, the Akron Beacon Journal, excuse me. Uh, no, my, my face wasn't ugly enough to break a camera or anything, it's awesome. And most people did not have masks and were not practicing social distancing. I promise you they were not. Did I have a mask on? Yeah, I actually did. Um, friends, it's the, the headline made no sense at all, but it made a lot of sense compared to what we have as the winner of the dunce cap of the month. Now, friends, if you would like to donate, you can donate. Like the awesome, awesome Miss Kebby did. Alright, 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 alright. Right. You, can, you can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Once again, that is the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. It costs to send these out and whatnot. Now, the winner of the Dutch Cap of the Month Award did not win it for any of the reasons that somebody may think would be the case. The winner, and I'm going to say it right up front, is Black Lives Matter DC, specifically the DC branch. Now why? You're saying, well, Sam, because you don't believe in white privilege, but then, if there's ever been a crock, but then, I digress. You're doing it because of race. You're doing it because of skin. Absolutely not. Black Lives Matter has managed to win a dunce cap from yours truly based 0% upon the color of their skin. Black Lives Matter has won the dunce cap of the month award because they were hollering at Rand Paul when he was leaving the RNC convention after his speech. And they were chanting, say her name, what about Breonna Taylor? What? I heard this and I almost wrecked the car. What? What about Breonna Taylor? For those of you that don't know, Breonna Taylor was the child who was killed in a no-knock Raid. Rand Paul has been against no knock raids for as long as he's been in Congress. I covered him talking about being against it, as am I, in 2014. Donald Trump was nowhere on the political radar. He was running a TV show. Rand Paul has always been against no-knock raids. What about Breonna Taylor? Breonna Taylor would still be alive if the world had listened to Rand Paul. You don't. How can anybody be so stupid? Really, how could anybody be so stupid? How could anybody be so dumb? How could anybody be so full of stupidity? How could anybody be so dumb? Oh my god! 
Uh, PolitiFact says 2014. I'm pretty sure you can go back further than that. I do know that even his father, Ron Paul, was against no-knock raids. So for that, which has nothing to do with the color of their skin, they win. The dunce cap of the month award, I will post a picture of the award as has become the habit until I get a printer, which I can do sooner if you do what Kebby did and donate at the correct views on Hotmail.com through PayPal. I'm going to post it on Facebook. You can find it uh, Samuel DeGangi, D-I-G-A-N-G-I. You can also find it under the correct views. Um, it'll be the one with all the current uploads. And uh, when you see the stream of Facebook for this show, I will post the award. Here's what it says. It's a picture of Rand and his wife uh, and a mob of thuggery. It says, uh, with, with, again, with, with a black police officer helping them. Uh, so again, there's nothing to do with color. Uh, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award goes, this Dunce Cap of the Month Award, excuse me, goes without question to the unhinged mob known as Black Lives Matter in D.C. for failing to understand that the person who you were chanting about Breonna Taylor to has been against no-knock raids his entire career. For everything that has to do with your pandering, your foolishness, and your lack of knowledge about what you are even protesting, you win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award! Now, for their hat, I did something entirely different, and I'd like to say it was because of my great ability to be clever, but it was actually because all of the school children, unfortunately... <laughs> have purchased all of the white poster board. There is no white poster board or orange or green or tan or yellow or beige or anything else at the store. None. It's all gone for school projects. So they only had one color left. And I, I hadn't yet chosen who was going to get it, so this is their dunce cap. Literally. Now, I, I think what I might do here, just so you can see it, is I'm going to write in black pen common sense and I'm going to cross it out and put a no through it okay what, do you, what, what else do you think I should write on there I don't know I think if I can get to the stream of people while I'm doing this usually I get people commenting uh, they're going to comment afterwards it'll be too late uh, how about Rand stands against no knocks. Alright, they're getting a hat that's not even, it's not designed, it's nothing. Do you know why? They're getting a hat that doesn't say anything. Because they don't say anything. All they do is divide people. They're getting a hat that's got a couple comments thrown on it. Why? Because the only thing they have are talking points that aren't rooted in facts at all. That is why they have won the Dumps Cap of the Month Award. Thank you for listening, friends, and by all means, hit share. Again, Black Lives Matter DC branch, specifically. Thanks for watching.